Thanks for playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game! In the last video, we showed a bunch of rejected ideas from the comments, and now we're showing even more great bad ideas, so let's a go! Do you love making hot garbage levels but are tired of how long it takes? Well, we've added a new radial circle that contains a bunch of pre-made garbage sections to your level. Now you could add a Kaizo block, or a sniper thwomp, or a soft log trap with the ease of just a click. Just select which one you want and find where you want it to go. Voila! Instant hot garbage. We're excited to announce partnerships with lots of companies to bring you product placement ads while you play levels. So now if you get a fire flower, you'll get an ad for a flower company. If you equip a boot, you'll see an Uggs ad. If you boo a garbage level, you'll get an ad for junk removal service. If you get a propeller power up, you'll enjoy an ad from Propel. And if you get a cannon power up, you'll see an ad from Cannon. What other ad companies do you think we should pair with for features in the game? Let us know in the comments. With snake thwomps and skewers being such a great terrible update, we decided to give the snake ability to another beloved item, the cannon. Just drag any direction and there's no way the player will know where it's gonna go. Just think of all the great awful possibilities. We're introducing a revolutionary new block to place in your level. The air block. It'll replace the bridge in the menu since nobody really uses the bridge and it can add blocks of air all throughout your level. You might think this is the same thing as an eraser, but you would be massively wrong. You see, the eraser will remove solid objects from any square, but the air block will add nothing to any square. See? Huge difference. Also, it doesn't make the annoying eraser sound, so that's even more of a benefit. If you think Boo Rings are a little boring, well, we're gonna spice them up with features like filling in the last boos so there's no gap, and making it spin way faster, reversing directions, and you can make the boos bigger without the circle getting bigger. We bet you're already thinking of how much fun these will be. In the first rejected video, we removed the restart button because people kept losing their checkpoint progress. Then in video number 7, we removed the exit button because people kept accidentally exiting the level. And then in video number 9, we removed the home functionality because people kept accidentally closing software. But now, people's cartridges keep coming out while playing, so we've added a special welding feature so that when you put your Mario Maker 2 cartridge in, it's completely sealed shut with no possible way to open. Problem solved. We know you're tired of the boring Magic Hoopa, so we're introducing Magic Hoopa Variations. The red Magic Hoopa will turn the entire screen's blocks into spikes. The green Magic Hoopa can turn the entire screen into nothing. The yellow Magic Hoopa zips around like a ninja and shoots super fast. And finally, the invisible variant. You won't know he's there until a spiny falls on your head. Are you ever building a level and just can't decide what to put into a question block? Well, worry no more because we're giving you the everything block. When you hit it, literally everything comes out of it. We realize that Bowser just isn't much of a challenge. I mean, look at this. You don't even have to move half the time and he won't hit you. So we decided to beef him up. First, we're giving him rapid fire breathing. Next, we're giving him hammers to throw, like in the original Mario Bros. Then we're giving him a rocket launcher. You might ask why, but then we would ask, why not? Now we can assure you that next time you see Bowser, it will not be easy. The propeller is nice and all that it spins to make you go up, but now we've added a variant that spins in the other direction and shoots you downward instead. We know how upset you were to find out that some of the story mode clear conditions aren't actually available when you make levels, so we fixed this problem by removing them from story mode. Now you can just pretend they never existed. Potaboos are a little too predictable with their simple up and down, so we've spiced them up with two new options, curving on the way up and curving on the way down. So much fun. In the first rejected video, we removed the restart button because people kept losing their checkpoint progress. 
Then in video number 7, we removed the exit button because people kept accidentally exiting the level. And then in video number 9, we removed the home functionality because people kept accidentally closing software. Then in video 11, we welded the cartridge slot shut since it kept opening and losing people's progress. But now people are dropping their switch on the ground which breaks it and ruins their game progress. So now we've added a patch that when you play Mario Maker 2, it coats your Switch in Dargonite, the Marvel Universe's strongest known metal. So now if you drop the Switch on the ground, there's no possible way for it to break. Problem solved. We know it's been fun to ride in the boot, Yoshi, and the car, so we're adding an entirely new thing to ride, the tank. That's right, now just hop inside and cruise along any terrain with no problem. And you can shoot cannons that blow up everything in front of you. This is available in all styles, so you can cruise in Mario 3, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Bros U, and 3D World. We've added so many different directions for Thwomps to go that we're adding another version, the Backwards Thwomp. Now when you get close, it flies in the opposite direction. Since we have the regular and big sized enemies, we're now unveiling chunky sized enemies. Chunky Goomba explodes into 16 regular Goombas. Chunky Thwomp can break through everything including ground. And Chunky Koopa can also break through anything. Our programmers know that they can't create enough features to keep everyone happy, so we are opening a code editor for anyone to use. Now you can code in special things like disabling the exit button, automatically liking a level, or killing the player if they're towed. We know there's no way this could be abused. The dry bone shell is so fun because it lets you pretend you're a dry bones. So now we're adding the winged dry bone shell, which lets you pretend you're a winged dry bones that floats up and down. Doesn't this look amazing? Sometimes it's too easy when Mario can get a power up to kill the enemies. So now we have an inverted power up. When Mario gets this, all enemies on screen will get that power up and immediately chase and attack him. Mario Maker 2 is being ported to the Xbox, but since all Mario characters are Nintendo property, this version will be tweaked just enough to avoid copyright issues. To start with, our hero isn't Mario, it's Murray, and his overalls aren't because he's a plumber, they're because he's a hipster, and because of that, he gets a soul patch. Same goes for his buddy Lewis, and they ride on their blue dinosaur pal, Josh. There aren't Goombas in this game, but there are Goompa Loompas, which are just different enough that lawyers won't get involved. And now Murray slides down the pole because he's a firefighter and on his way to save someone's life. If you have other ideas on what replacements would be in Super Murray Maker 2, post them in the comments and we'll make a future video to show them off. We know the mole can be too predictable when you see it rising from the ground, so we're introducing a version that doesn't show the movement underground. So one second you're walking along, the next second, mole in your face. Most vanilla Mario levels are very easy and a bit too boring, so we're adding a Dark Souls mode. It gives every enemy a power or weapon that makes it way harder to dodge or kill. Like the Psycho Dry Bones, or the Fire Breathing Koopa, or the Bullet Bills shooting out fast Bonsai Bills. We're releasing a new spin-off game called Super Immersive Maker 2. In this game, your controller will enable Hyper VR mode, which allows you and the levels to directly interact with each other. For example, when the 3D World bullet bills charge at the screen, they'll actually burst out of your TV. Comment below any other ideas for how gameplay can interact with the actual player, and it might be featured in a future trailer for Super Immersive Maker 2. In multiplayer mode, the only way to really laugh at someone is to duck a bunch of times, so we're adding the dab. Now when you act toxic to other players, you can press the dab button and really show others what a jerk you are. Last time we showed you chunky enemies, so this time we're showing micro enemies. They're smaller than one pixel so you can't see them, but they can still hurt you. Just imagine how much fun a little Timmy level will be when you can't see any of the enemies. Just when you thought we've shown every possible thwomp direction, you were wrong, because one direction we haven't shown is no direction at all. These thwomps now just make a derpy face when you get nearby. 
Since everyone enjoyed the Xbox port Super Murray Maker 2, we're porting Mario Maker to another popular console, the NES. Unfortunately, the hardware and disk space can only hold Super Mario 1 and also can't support an editor mode, so it just comes with the original 32 pre-designed Mario 1 levels. Here at Nintendo, we're saving money by firing all the employees that handle reported levels, so now we're completely trusting the community. This means if you report a level, it will be deleted immediately, no questions asked. Super Mario World had blocks with either nothing or an extra life, so we're doing the opposite now with the 50-50 block, which either gives you nothing or it kills you. It'll be so much fun having no idea what's gonna happen. Players have been sad that there's no night mode for 3D World, so we're unveiling evening mode. It's an exciting new mode just for 3D World, and what it does is it makes the background theme a little bit darker like it's evening. Just look at how much more fun these levels are in the evening. With the popularity of the different 3D World masks, we're adding a new one, the bob Mask. With this one, when you get it, the bomb starts ticking and you have three seconds before it explodes and kills you. We know how limiting the enemies are because they all only have one main thing that they do. So now we're letting you combine enemies. Just overlap one on top of the other and BAM! New ways to make little Timmy levels. Get ready for Hammer Pokey. Or Zapathwomps. Or Lacko Rocky Bowser. Last time we gave you the ability to dab, so the next cringy move to add is the Floss. Now if you're playing Versus and want to look extra obnoxious, press the floss button and you'll show everyone your true self. We know how much fun it is to dodge bloopers and everyone's gotten so good at predicting their movement that we're enhancing them to shoot ink onto the screen like they do in Mario Kart. Now you'll have more and more fun the less and less you're able to see of the level. Do you love easy but still find it a little bit too difficult? Well now we have super easy! In this new difficulty, we take any level from our entire library and move the goal directly on top of the starting position, so there's no way to not beat the level. The current all-time streak will look like nothing compared to your own. And on the opposite end, we now have impossible mode. But this doesn't mean the uncleared levels. This takes any level from our server and surrounds the starting position with spikes. The leaderboards will all be neck and neck ties for zero levels in a row. Since Chris Pratt was announced to be the speaking role for Mario in the next Mario movie, we've changed the Mario voices in New Super Mario Bros. and 3D World to be Chris's voice. Ow, my arm! Sometimes when I walk, my ankles make like a weird rattlesnake sound. I don't know who Al Gore is, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> we can't believe we're at Hogwarts! In video 13, we showed you the magic mole that comes out of the ground without any warning. So now we're releasing the exploding mole. You can see the trail coming up, but you won't know if it's a regular mole or an exploding mole. Just imagine the fun. We've unveiled some great alternatives to the sun and moon like evening mode and black hole mode. So now we're unveiling midnight mode. This will turn any level into complete darkness, including the player. Look at this crazy Kaizo level at midnight. And how about this complex puzzle at midnight? I would say the combinations are endless, but you can't see anything, so you wouldn't even know. We've shown you thwomps that go diagonal towards the screen, up, snake direction, and backwards. So we're releasing a whole package of new thwomp actions like thwomps that fly into the background, homing thwomps, Stretchy Thwomps Portal Thwomps Circular Thwomps And Turbo Thwomps Can you think of any others? I bet you can! Now we're giving you all the fun from the famous awful troll Mario game, Cat Mario! With this power-up, the level will instantly transform to have all the fun trolls and death traps as the original Cat Mario game. What a classic! And in honor of the hilarious Troll Cat Mario game, we're releasing Super Unfair Mario Maker 2. So post in the comments your best awful unfair troll ideas. For example, ground that isn't actually ground. Make sure to include the term unfair in your comments so we can know if you're suggesting something specifically for this game. We're adding a completely new item, landmines. Just place them on any block and if the player walks on it, boom! No way for them to know it was there. You'll have so much fun having no idea which blocks will kill you. 
First we showed you the dab, then we gave you the floss. Now the next cringy dance move is taking the L. This is a perfect dance move when you want to really show everyone that you have no friends. Since everyone loves clickbait YouTube videos, we're adding a way to make your levels clickbaity with a YouTube style. Just flip the switch on and your level will transform into a cringy YouTube channel, complete with overreactions to the dumbest things. And once you upload, the title will have random capitalized words and red arrows all over the place with a crazy Mario face on it. Now you'll be sure to attract anyone younger than 5 years old to play your levels. NFTs are the best way to spend actual money and say that you own something when you actually don't. So we're cashing in and offering Mario Maker 2 NFTs. Now you can purchase a beautiful thwomp for only 0.2 ethereum, or even this claw for only 0.7 ethereum, or you can get really fancy and spend actual money to buy this flagpole for a whopping 10 ethereum. It might sound weird, but this is literally what an NFT is. We've shown some replacements to the sun and moon like black hole, evening and midnight mode. So now we're unveiling sunrise mode. In this mode, the level alternates between full darkness and full light, back and forth like the sun is rising and setting. So much fun. If you're building a level and can't decide if you want it to be horizontal, vertical, or upside down, just add the new swap block and it'll decide for you. When a player hits it, it'll always be a mystery which way the level rotates and the gravity will change based on where it lands. Since we reward people for making great levels and other things, we're now rewarding bad level design too. There are so many achievements to unlock, like this one if you make a level with a hidden block over a gap, or this one if you make a section with a blind jump that's impossible to see. And this classic if you add a naked pipe. By the time you collect them all, you'll have no friends. You've seen Hammer Bros, Fire Bros, and also Boomerang Bros in other Mario games, but those projectiles are always so easy to dodge. So now we're bringing you Lightning Bros. If you see them on screen, you're only a few seconds away from insta-death. Everyone loves Boo Rings because it's so much fun to just stand and wait for the opening and then waiting some more for the opening again. So we're introducing Boo Ring Rings. This takes the Boo Ring up a notch by adding Boo Rings instead of Boos, leaving you with a beautiful, horrible monstrosity. Seesaws are neat and all, but we just want to mess with you so we're adding in reverse seesaws. They do the reverse of what any seesaw would normally do. Like how normally a ground pound would launch the other side up, on this seesaw it'll launch you up. The bridge block has always been kind of a waste of space since it functions exactly like clouds or semi-solids. So now we're making them different by giving them a 50-50 chance of collapsing like bridges can do in real life. So now when you run over them, the player and the creator both will have no idea what will happen. We've shown so many alternates to the sun and moon like black hole, midnight, evening, and sunrise. So we're giving you another one, solar eclipse mode. In this one, the level periodically goes into a solar eclipse which makes the entire screen go bright. But the twist on this one is that it's like looking into a real solar eclipse and it will blind you if you don't cover your eyes. The acorn is such a fun power up so we're adding its cousin, the peanut. The only problem is Mario has a peanut allergy, so if you get this power up, you'll only have a few seconds to beat the level or else Mario will suffocate and die. Since everyone loved the insta-kill lightning bros from the last video, we're introducing a whole new package of terrible bros. First, there's airstrike bros. Once they're on screen, they call for a ton of missiles in your direction. Next, we have twister bros. They take all the frustration and unpredictability of twisters and throw it in your face. Just imagine how much fun this person is having. Then we have Spike Bros. They progressively throw more and more spike traps, so eventually there will be too many to get past. Also, we have Thumbtack Bros. They throw thumbtacks at you, and if it hits you, it pokes out one of your eyes which disables half the screen. And if you get hit again, you'll go completely blind. We have Grappling Hook Bro. When you get just close enough, they shoot out a grappling hook and drag you across the screen to where they are. Everyone loves skewers, so now we're making a bigger version of them. This version can destroy everything on screen, so basically once you see it charge up, there is nothing you can do. Tracks are so versatile since you can put almost anything on them, but we're removing the almost and now you can put literally anything on a track. Now you can have a floating naked pipe, twisters on tracks, and you guessed it, even tracks on tracks. 
it doesn't make sense and it's not supposed to. With the boot and heel being similar with a tiny difference, we're adding more footwear, the sneaker. It works the same as the others except now the enemies reenact a meme from 2015 when they get close enough they ask, what are those? So it's a form of stun lock. Once they ask the stupid question, you can jump and stomp them. Mario needs some more items that can attack, so we're giving you scissors. Just press the run button and it's just like how Link attacks with a sword. Except with this item, running is disabled because everyone knows you're not allowed to run with scissors. We're unveiling a new character. It's Peach. The only restriction is that you have to play as her from the endless mode box. So when Mario starts a level, you get to stand there with him and basically just watch as you stay in the castle and he goes on the endless journey. You've had a CP1 and CP2, so now we're unveiling CP0. It looks just like the starting arrow, and once you hit it, if you die, you'll start back at the beginning of the level. Since the YouTube mode was so popular, we're adding TikTok mode. This is perfect since everyone has such a short attention span. It changes the aspect ratio and gives you a new level every 10 seconds, whether you like it or not. Everyone loves the classic hidden block that you hit while jumping over a gap, but it's no fun when players test a ledge first and are able to go around the hidden block. So now we're introducing the soft lock block. When you hit it, it instantly activates four hidden blocks all surrounding your player, making it impossible to get out of. We're now letting you create literally any clear condition you want to, even if it's impossible to achieve. You could do reach the goal while killing one skewer, but guess what? You can't kill skewers. Or you could place one Goomba in a level but make a clear condition to kill two Goombas. You'll wish you could see their confused faces. Or maybe you could really mess with the player and say they have to complete the level as Ice Mario, but the Ice Flower doesn't even exist in this game. Everyone loved the tank when we showed it off in video 13, so now we're unveiling the helicopter. The great thing about this is that it can break through any surface and it's able to fly up and over the entire level. So no matter how much you cheese-proofed your tough level, if someone gets a helicopter, they don't have to play any of it. And you might say, well, I just won't put a helicopter in my level, but we're also adding a feature to let any player enable a helicopter at any time. So if a level is just too hard for them, they can activate the helicopter and get to the goal without doing any of the hard work. The double cherry will create a double of Mario, except unlike 3D World where all the Marios follow the same path, this Mario purposefully tries to annoy you. This means the double can take your checkpoints or power-ups, and then if it dies, you die also. The builder power-up was cool, but a little bit limited in its abilities. So now we're making its hammer super strong to be able to break through literally anything. So once you get this, you can always just break your way through to the goal. Just be careful you don't accidentally break the goal. Haha, <laughs> oops. We know you're tired of seeing each thing in the game do what it normally does, stomp on Goombas, pick up mushrooms, but now we're letting you change the skins of each thing in the game. So now you can reskin a spike to look like a fire flower. Or you could reskin a jumping green Koopa to look like a star. And better yet, you could have a regular Goomba and then have a spiny reskinned as a Goomba so that hopping on it will kill you. With the Link and SMB2 Mushroom, we revolutionized how Mario 1 can be played, so now we're adding another custom character power up. Captain Toad. He's got all the abilities from the Captain Toad game, like not being able to jump. And that's literally it. Now you can make all those don't jump levels that everyone loves so much. We're finally giving you the new game mode that everyone's been asking for, Mario is Missing Mode. In this mode, you can only play as Luigi and you can build levels that look like towns or the inside of dungeons. The Koopaling behavior will be just like in Mario is Missing, which means they literally just move left and right. You can also add in lots and lots and lots of text bubbles because we know the funnest part of any Mario level is the reading. And since Mario is Missing doesn't have a timer, this new game mode will also disable the timer. Players will love doing endless mode and going from a 10 second level to a 9 hour level. We know everyone loves the night theme, so we're offering extreme night themes that exaggerate the effects even more. Now the wind is impossible to run through. And the low gravity turns to no gravity, meaning if you jump, you literally never stop moving unless you hit something. Of course, dark mode makes the entire screen black, and you'll love the ground night theme because things were already weird, like thwomp, boo, and chain chomp behavior. So now there are things like pokey rings, spikes that spit out chain chomps, alternating skewers, 
and claws that stretch when you land in them. So far, all of the clear conditions have been things to do in the level, so now we're adding a function to your controller which can sense your anger and this allows for a no rage clear condition, meaning that if at any point in the level you're annoyed, mad, or frustrated, you lose the clear condition and have to start the level all over completely calm. We know you're tired of cute costumes with mostly Nintendo themed decorations, so now we're letting you really bling yourself out like wearing Gucci or ripped jeans, or having gold teeth, or only the most expensive Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses that you can buy with real money from your parents' wallet. We are now offering a placeable block that's called the carbon monoxide block. Just like real carbon monoxide, when you place this, there's no way to detect it, but if you come across it, you'll inhale it and die. The best part is that it's not an immediate death, so you'll never really know which block it was in. You've played levels with one player, four players, and our update with a hundred players, and now we're offering zero player verses. It just scrolls through as if you were playing, and you can use your imagination about what you would do if you were playing in it. You've always just been stuck with a random level ID when you upload a level, but not anymore. Now you get to modify them to whatever you want. So stylize those level IDs, make them super unique and hilarious, and there's no way this idea could possibly go wrong. We've all been in a detailed search and thought, this needs way more tags. So we're now letting you create your own custom tags. Now you can type any tag name for a level that you want and give it as many tags as you want and all those tags for every single level will show up when you do the detailed search. We know you'll love the millions of super specific tag options. Now it's your turn. Be sure to comment your own rejected ideas and it might be featured in a future video.